Welcome to Hogzilla Speed Park for the 15th of 25 rounds in the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series Season 5 as we're getting set to roll off here at the biggest track on the circuit. Greg Jones is on the pole with Phil Jones alongside him. Then Sean Galligan and John Acosta start in the second row as we're getting set for the command. Start your engines. As the command has been given and the cars will start to roll off for 15 laps around this nearly five mile track and here we go we are rolling off there's Andrew Schwartz he was last uh, actually he won this race two years ago there's Kurt Kozlowski he won this race last season and Hunter Stone deep in the field very high speed pace lap here so we're going to be going green very shortly but in the meantime we will show you the driver changes Kenny Murray was in his last race at Hartlepool that is now Eric Burton new driver in the 82 that is now Brendan Amon and Julian Ortiz is actually able to keep his ride they were not able to find a replacement driver for him here at Hogzilla so he's gonna maintain in that number 64 car as here we go coming off of the final corner the past two seasons we were here it was their first career win can that happen again today? We'll find out in 15 laps as the green flag is out. Greg Jones, Phil Jones, and uh, Sean Galligan lead him down to the green. Into turn one. There really isn't any preferred line here, so it is a little bit surprising to see Phil Jones fade back already on that outside line. Greg Jones is now going to go up high. Four wide. Chris Summers in the middle. And also the 66 is Brett Pavel, as Christian James was in his last race. So as we go back up to Sean Galligan, who has now taken the lead away from Greg Jones. But on the inside of the track, there is John Dillon, but he's not the leader, I guess. Courtney Simpson is out front in the number seven. Last season's champion out front trying to protect her championship. But here comes the 09 of Cole Freilich to the inside. Simpson's going to be shuffled. Gino Harvey just on the rear bumper of Cole Freilich. But look at the debut driver. Well, no, he's not a debut driver, sorry. He did race in season one and two. But the uh, driver making his comeback, Brendan Amon in the 82, he's hanging up there. Garrett Jones deep in the field. That is not something that we normally see at this racetrack. This is one of his better tracks. And look out. Evan Earnhardt, Carter Kozlowski almost made contact. Greg Jones, that was almost trouble. Will we see any early pit stops on lap one? No, we will not. Any strategy play could be played out as early as lap one. But now to the front of the field is now Courtney Simpson again. But Cole Freilich is making the move to the inside, and Carter Kozlowski is going to go with him. And here's what happened to bring out the first caution of the day. DJ Sorensen and Brian LaFleur Jr. made contact, and then the king of the super speedways, Mitch Speed, is in this. John Acosta is in, in the, involved. There is Brett Pavel in his debut race getting through it. Oh, Garrett Jones has some damage. I don't know if it was if he was involved in this crash or if he had any contact in the beginning of the race. Oh, he got turned. Matthew McMurray and Eric Burton came down on the 11. And that was including his teammate there. That is Matthew McMurray. Comes up into Jack Richards. And look at Brett Pavel, the debut driver, just gets through this. And uh-oh. Oh, Garrett Jones makes more contact. Sean Henley, Corey Williams... Wow, somehow that 11 car kept straight, but obviously Corey Williams going to have some words to say after this, and Andrew Schwartz looks like he has some damage. Let's see what happened. Turns out Andrew Schwartz was one of the drivers that we were talking about playing some early strategy coming down to take some fuel in that number 27, so nothing happened to him, so other than that, we were, uh, we were okay to go here, so let's wait. This was before the green flag even came out. So there is something wrong with Schwartz. Something mechanical could be wrong on that number 27. We'll keep you updated when we go back green. 
as we're getting set to go back green here in Hogzilla Speed Park. Courtney Simpson, last season's champion, is going to be on the uh, on the point for the restart. Cole Freilich, Gino Harvey, uh, Brendan Amon, and Carter Kozlowski, the top five. Then we got Joseph Bryant, Brandon Bain, Evan Earnhardt, Sean Galligan, and Julie Stewart, the top ten. So you head back up to the front where the pace car is making the hard left turn to pit road. Courtney Simpson is going to lead the field down to the green flag. Coming off of the final corner at Hogzilla Speed Park and speeding up. The green flag is back in the air and we're racing again. In a turn one, are we going to see any dive bomb moves? Doesn't look like it. has taken the lead, but here comes Carter Kozlowski to the inside. Nobody cares. As we saw last year, Kurt Kozlowski went to victory lane to take his first win. Can it be Kozlowski's back-to-back -back and first-time winner's back-to-back? -back? Not looking like it now as Freilich now goes to the point. And now through the tunnel, Freilich does not have any drafting assistance, so I'm not sure how he's hanging up front. Is now here comes Simpson. Once again through this corner, it can be so treacherous. This is where CJ Sorensen's champion was lost in season three. And it looks like everybody's gonna stay clean. At least through that corner, let's make sure we don't have a caution. And we are okay, but Henley's on pit lane. Not sure if that's strategy or not. Well, let's go back to Cole Freilich, who is not the leader anymore. And here comes Julie Stewart to the inside in the 70. He's, she's got help from Alex Filter, last week's winner at Hartlepool. Evan Earnhardt in third. Here comes Filter to the inside. Can he get two in a row? And also closing in is the 20 of uh, Connor Breton. He's got help from Kyle Smith in the number four. Woo. And now here he comes trying to get to the inside of the two leaders. Trying to break the draft a bit. But it's still Filter and Breton, one, two. To go off the rear bumper of Alex Filter. Here comes Dion Petty on the inside. And I believe Kyle Smith is on the outside of Filter, and there he is. Now on the inside of the track, Breton's going to go to the lead as we come into the tunnel. Oh, Julian Ortiz, his last race is still unknown. It's just when we can find a replacement driver for that 64. So this could be his last race. Is now Alex Filter still has help from Kyle Smith. Oh, Brandon Bain's getting awfully close, and there they go. Brandon Allman and Brandon Bain hard into the outside wall. That's going to end their day. Look out. Oh, Matthew McMurray hits him hard. Garrett Jones gets through this, but Matthew McMurray spinning to a stop and almost got hit again by Brett Pavel, Corey Williams, and Jack Richards. Caution is out, and we have already raced back to the line. Filter won the race back. Let's take a look. As we take a look at a replay of this, Brendan Almond on the inside of the track, not the way he wanted to return to the series, as Brandon Bain is there as well. Gino Harvey somehow did not get any damage in this. Oh, he got some front end damage, but he's lucky he didn't get taken out to the outside wall with him, but hard hit in that outside wall, synchronized crash. And then look out for Evan Earnhardt, no, sorry, Matthew McMurray. And here he comes. Oh, he hits Amon very hard in the quarter panel. Let's go on board with him here. Oh, what a hard hit for Matthew McMurray. 
And this is probably the scariest part here. He can hear everybody behind. He can't necessarily see him, so that probably helped him out a little bit. But this is where he uh, helped his championship hopes back in season three, but he's hurt them today. So let's take a. Uh, so let's go back to the green. Well, we're back for the restart, but pit stops happened, and now that cycles the lead over to Danny Wells, the number six. And remember, Connor Breton was the leader before pit stops happened. Julian Ortiz, Kyle Smith, Chris Summers, they were all within shooting distance of the leader. So I believe Danny Wells might have stayed out under this caution. Then we got Connor Breton second, Julian Ortiz third, Kyle Smith fourth, and Chris Summers fifth. Then 6th is Seth Cole, 7th Julie Stewart, 8th Evan Earnhardt, 9th Stephen Dillon, and running out your top 10, John Dillon. So the two Dillon brothers round out your top 10. So as we get set to go back racing here with Danny Wells leading, he had a heartbreak in the Daytona 500 as he was leading with about 5 or 6 laps to go, and then he got taken out by a lapped car, who at the time was Ziggy Bain. But uh, he is not in the series anymore after this race. But the green flag is back out, and we got four laps of racing to go. And already Breton goes to the outside. It's not a good call here. You got the three light blue cars forming on the inside of the track. It's Wells, Julian Ortiz, and Kyle Smith on the inside. But here comes Ortiz, and he's going to have help from Kyle Smith. Chris Summers is also in the mix. It's a four-car draft on the inside, but Julie Stewart's starting to get left out to dry, and Danny Wells fighting back on the outside. Now Summers makes it three wide. Kyle Smith is going to make it four wide, it looks like. Let's get an aerial view. Ortiz is out front. Chris Summers, Kyle Smith, Julie Stewart, and Seth Cole, the top five now. Kyle Smith left out to dry right now and does not have any drafting help. John Dillon's going to go by him now. And now here comes Summers. It's MWR 1-2, but that's going to change over to Chris Summers. But Julie Stewart wants to mix this up a bit. It's right to the rear bumper of Summers. Almost turned him around. And it's still Ortiz out front, but Seth Cole restarted, I believe, sixth. Yeah, he restarted sixth, and he has now fought his way to second. Kyle Smith has now got a drafting buddy with Connor Breton. Now coming through the corner, this is where it's going to be uh, pretty dangerous, especially Kyle Smith on the outside. He just needs to make sure he doesn't come down on anybody here. And he's not. Steven Dillon is clear. Looks like everybody's going to make it through here just fine, but let's see if we're going to have any pit stops. And we will with Henley and the leader, Danny Wells and Julian Ortiz. So that might hand the lead over to Connor Breton or Julie Stewart. Might be Julie Stewart. And it is. And there she is in the 70 car. Evan Earnhardt now into second. Chris Summers third. John Dillon. And in the 34 is Jacob Lawler. Summers, is co Summers could get freight trained here. Kyle Smith knows how he feels. He's going to go up and help him out. Jacob Lawler, a championship contender, trying to get around the three leaders on the inside, but he doesn't have any drafting help. Coming around this time to two laps to go, Julie Stewart is out front trying to win here at Hogzilla. We mentioned that the last two years we've had a first-time winner here, and Julie Stewart never has won. Neither has Evan Earnhardt. John Dillon has already won this season at Darlington. His brother Steven has three wins. Let's see where he is. He's not too far off from his fourth win of the season. But the question is, do these guys have enough gas to make it to the finish? Evan Earnhardt is now going to go to the lead. Through the tunnel, Julie Stewart's going to get passed by Evan Earnhardt. But through this area is going to be uh, pretty dangerous. Especially right here, Connor Breton and John Dillon, if they lean on each other, it could end the race. And now Evan Earnhardt's going to go around Julie Stewart on the outside. Oh, it's getting really tight here. And let's see. Pit stops. The leader, Julie Stewart, says no, but other drivers are coming in. And they are Greg Jones, Jacob Lawler, Gino Harvey, Sean Galligan, Dion Petty, Alex Filter, and debut driver Eric Burton. And now Garrett Jones and Jack Richards are going to join the party on pit road. As let's head back up to the leader, who is now Connor Breton. 
And Julie Stewart is starting to fall back. Kyle Smith still in the mix of this. As this time by, we're going to face the white flag. Connor Breton is out front. He won at Pigs Creek last year. Never mind, that was Justin Perry. I believe it would be Breton's first win if he could bring it home here today. I think he actually won Dover earlier. Never mind. I know it would be Kyle Smith and Evan Earnhardt's first ever win. Seth Cole came very close to winning at Phoenix back in Season 3, Race 2. I don't know if he's ever won. Breton is now going to be stuck in the middle as here comes Seth Cole to the inside. But fuel mileage is the main question right now as Seth Cole goes to the point. We saw it in Season 3. The race ended under caution, but the pace laps are probably the most exciting part of the race as we had, I believe it was either the front four or five drivers all ran out of gas. And the leader was Julian Ortiz with about half a lap to go. And Andrew Schwartz was running sixth, but he ended up winning the race. Uh oh, Stephen Dillon. Okay, let's see. Will we have pit stops? It looks like Summers might be committing to pit road. And he is not. So none of the leaders are going to come into pit lane this time as we face the white flag. Seth Cole is out front getting help from Kyle Smith. White flag. Smith already makes his move. Seth looks like he might be slowing. Never mind, he's maintaining, but he's definitely starting to fall back. As now it's three wide for the third spot, but here comes Simpson. Simpson is in it late to score her second win of her career. Sorry, to be her third. Her first of season five. Can Simpson hold on and bring it home? Will Julie Stewart score her first win? Two female drivers out front. Here comes Stewart to the inside. Stewart has help from Joseph Bryant. Simpson could be freight train. Here comes Kyle Smith. He's not done with this yet. As Julie Stewart still out front. Joseph Bryant right on the rear bumper. Kyle Smith goes to the inside of the track. But now that's going to be the outside. That's not preferred coming into this corner. But he's got more help from Seth Cole. Here we go. Coming down through the tunnel, Julie Stewart out front. Can she hang on and win her first ever race in the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series? I'm willing to bet Bryant and Kyle Smith are going to have something to say about that as we come into the final corner. If Smith can get in line behind, and he does, the front stretch is going to be exciting. Here we go through the final corner. If Smith ducks out, is Seth Cole going to go with him? Coming off of the final corner at Hogzilla. Stewart is out front. Smith not making the move yet. I think he waited too late. Here he comes to the inside. Will it be enough? No, it won't. Julie Stewart is going to win at Hogzilla. Congratulations, Julie Stewart. And now that is three years in a row that it has been a first-time winner. So Julie Stewart is going to go to victory lane for the first time in her career. Kyle Smith was able to come close. Let's see how close that was. Less than a tenth of a second here, as we're going to take a look at your finishing results. And there are a few name miss um, things, I guess. As Julie Stewart wins the race, Kyle Smith second, Seth Cole third, Carter Kozlowski fourth, and John Worry fifth. And we got Connor Breeden, while wow, Courtney Simpson fell to seventh. What a loser. She was leading on the white flag lap, and she ended up falling to seventh. And oh, John, he ends up eighth. Then we got Chris Summers and Joseph Bryant rounding out your top ten. Then Stephen Dillon, Evan Earnhardt, CJ Sorensen, Phil Jones, and Cole Frey like the top fifteen. So as there, there's first through twenty eighth. The few uh, name misspellings are uh, Kenny Murray is still scored in the twenty seven, but that is Eric Burton. Uh, let's see, I think that's the only driver in this part of the uh, results. Oh, the other debut drivers kind of struggled. And uh, Andrew Schwartz never started the race, but he's going to be scored 42nd. Also, uh, Brett Pavel ended up 36th in the 66 car. Uh, Ziggy Bain, that is Brendan Amon, he's going to end up 38th in his comeback. Justin Perry, that is John Acosta. So those are your finishing results for today's race here at Hogzilla. Julie Stewart was able to come home with it. There's Buchanan deep in the field. So congratulations to Julie Stewart on her first career win at Hogzilla Speed Park, and we will see you next week.